Hello everyone and welcome to another beer review here from the Czech Republic. Thank you very much for joining. Um, today I'm going to have something um, I've never had before in my life, um, a beer style that I've never tried. Um, um, so I'm really looking forward um, to, to giving this a go and I'm glad I can um, share this moment with you um, and um, give you my, uh, my thoughts and my opinion um, about this particular beer and of course this beer style that I've never tried before um, in my life. It's an oatmeal pale ale. You can see it here. Oatmeal pale ale um, from the Pivova Luhacevice. Um, and they call it Nectaron. Nectaron oatmeal pale ale. It's a 12 degrees beer with 4.8% uh, alcohol content. Um, so you know, kind of suitable for a rather Friday kind of afternoon, early evening. Um, nothing too strong. Um, but I just don't know what to expect. Um, now, apparently this is a relatively new beer from the brewery and I didn't actually order this. Um, I, I ordered something completely different. Um, I ordered, I think, an 11 degrees uh, pale lager. But um, they called and they said, um, you know, it wasn't available and if they can swap it for something else. So um, they gave me this instead when I picked it up um, last Friday uh, from, from Luhacevice. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really curious. And the brewery itself doesn't give too much information, if any, on their website about the beer. Um, I wasn't able to find anything. So I think this is really a relatively new one for them as well. Um, I couldn't even find it in their eShop. Um, so I couldn't get an idea of, of what this beer is um, is all about and you know what I should be expecting um, but I did kind of look at um, other oatmeal uh, pale ales um, I looked at Google and uh, one of the websites says it's porridge in a glass basically so porridge in a glass uh, oatmeal pale ale I really do not know what to expect from this um, now I don't want to talk too much. Maybe I will show the can just one more time. Pivovalu Hatchevice um, Nectaron Oatmeal Pale Ale. I really like the can. It's it's quite a nice looking can. Um, nice uh, nice artwork. So, you know, very, very nice to look at. So let's give it a go and uh, see what an Oatmeal Pale Ale is all about. It's a a uh, really citra kind of, uh, you know, a citrus or, yeah, it's like a citrus aroma coming from it. Um, very strong, in fact. Very, very strong citrus aroma. So let's see. I'm not sure if I if this is the kind of right glass to use. I mean, it's not from the Luhacevice Pivova, it's from the Monopole Pivova in um, Teplice. Um, I, I just didn't know what kind of glass to use, you know, should I use a tasting glass or a craft beer glass or can I use this? I hope you don't mind if I'm using the wrong glass. Um, I, I just didn't know. So let's see. It seems very hazy. Let's get the rest of the can in there as well. Yeah, I, I hope you will be able to see it. Um, it's it's very very hazy. Um, yeah, you probably can see it a little bit. Um, a nice nice foamy head, uh, but very very hazy. Um, so you know, yellow hazy um, look of it. Yeah, and again that uh, that citra kind of. Um, aroma relief. So let's give this a go and see. Nice to have you. I mean first of all there is a really strong citra kind of citrus taste. It's it's very very strong. It's uh, it, it's really there. Um, then I'm not sure what I'm getting. 
But I've got a wasp here again. She is visiting me again, so I will give her the can. She can play with it, I hope. Yeah. It, it's, it's a very citrusy taste. I'm not sure I'm getting oatmeal or, or porridge from it. But what I do get, and I think this is where maybe the kind of porridge pale ale comes in. It's, it's very thick. It's a very, very thick beer like a it's very difficult to describe it it's it's like a it's 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 not as liquid i'm not sure if that makes sense a, you know the consistent or consistency i'm not sure if that's the right english word it's it's very creamy as you know as if you kind of drinking you know like milk almost but you know a very thick milk like almost cream you know as if you're drinking kind of coffee cream for example so very very interesting and i think the wasp also is really interested um in this beer so um they they seem to be uh, really coming today and uh, trying to to get some of my beer overall i really think this is an, an interesting, an interesting beer. Um, I have to have one more. Yeah, there is definitely that, that creaminess. But what really stands out for me here is the kind of citrus aroma that I'm really getting from it. Um, and then, you know, mixed with that, with that creaminess that, um, you know, that, that you really can can feel so it's not as um as as as, as drinkable as a normal um kind of pale lager would be it's very thick and very creamy now is it for me i have to be honest and say that probably not um it's probably not a beer that I would um, like to drink on a regular basis. And that's not because this is bad. I actually think this is, you know, quite good. It's, it's okay. But it's just not the type of beer that I would normally go for. And, and, and that's okay. You know, it, I don't have to like everything. Um, and, you know, it, we have all have different tastes. So I'm sure there is a lot of people who would probably enjoy this more than I would, and they would probably drink this on a more regular basis as well. Um, I'm sure I would get this again if I see it. You know, I, I do go to Hachewitz every now and then. So if I get a chance to get this again, or maybe something like this from another brewery, um, I would probably give this another taste. But the overall um, feedback that I can give is that it's probably not going to be one of my favorite beers. But overall, very enjoyable, you know, to the point that I'm glad I've tried and that I now know what an old oatmeal pale ale is, but it's probably not what I would normally go for, um, you know, on a kind of regular basis. So with that, I, as I said, I'm glad I've tried. I'm tried again, just... Uh, just to see if there is anything else I'm getting from it, but there is not. It's really that citrus aroma, that citrus taste, um, mixed with that kind of heaviness of the beer, that creaminess of the beer. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's pretty much all I can say. However, I do recommend that you also try it because, you know, tasting beers, it's, it's all about trying and, you know, kind of tasting different things, experiencing different things. Um, you know, and, and if you do, um, let me know um, what you thought about it because you know I'm, I'm really curious um, about what other people think about this type of beer because for me it really was the first time that I've even been made aware of this kind of beer style um, so I'm glad I tried and you know if you get a chance if you come to the Czech Republic um, and you see either this guy uh, from the Pivoval Hachewice or maybe from another brewery um, give it a go and you know see for yourself what it is like and if you like it or if you 
would say, well, it is okay, I enjoyed it, like I did, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with the beer, it is good, but it's just not the kind of style of beer that I would prefer on a regular basis. And if you do try, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it, um, and I would be really happy to, to read your feedback. Subscribe to my channel for more beer reviews, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day, bye bye.